creating holes in your landscape is something that you can do in manage mode but only by deleting entire landscape components at a time. To get around this, you can use a landscape hole material to mask out the visibility and collision of a certain location on your landscape. This is great if you want to make something like an entrance to a cave in the side of a mountain. You can use the same material for your landscape material and your landscape hole material. But be aware that materials that use opacity masks are more costly performance-wise, than materials that do not. This is why you have the option of creating a separate landscape hole material. Find the landscape material that you want to use in the content browser. So create a duplicate of original landscape material. And name it landscape material hole. Now open the Material Editor, and in the Details panel set the Blend Mode to Masked. Please note the original landscape material has opaque in Blend Mode. Whereas in Whole Material it's masked, leading to Opacity Mask is active. So the difference is the opacity and masking. Rest everything remains the same. Now search for Landscape Visibility Mask in the search palette. Next, add the Landscape Visibility Mask node to the Material Graph and connect its output to the Opacity Mask input. The Visibility tool is used with a landscape material that has been set up to use a Landscape Visibility Mask. This enables parts of the landscape to be painted invisible or visible so that you can create caves and other underground areas using additional static mesh actors. This demonstration shows painting the invisibility and then repainting the visibility. Let's check the inputs. With left click. This adds the visibility mask, making the landscape invisible. And with shift plus left click. This removes the visibility mask, making the landscape components visible again. Once the material has been compiled, it is now time to assign it to the landscape so that it can be used. This can be done in the Landscape Whole Material section in the Details panel. Now you can set up the rest of your landscape material like you normally would and when completed, you should have something that looks similar to this. You should now be able to mask and unmask the visibility of your terrain. After creating a material for a Landscape Whole Material, you need to assign the material to a landscape actor in your level to use the material. Select the landscape, either in the viewport or in the world outliner. In the level editor's details panel for the landscape, in the landscape section, next to landscape material, click the assign arrow to assign the selected material. Here in this example it's already selected. Now assign the landscape whole material to a landscape. You can assign different material to act as the landscape hole material, which is a material with specific opacity settings. Find the landscape hole material that you want to use in the content browser and select it. Select the landscape, either in the viewport or in the world outliner. Navigate to the level editor details of landscape, under advanced get the landscape hole material. Select the arrow to assign the selected material. After you have set up your landscape hole material, you can use the painting tools to create a hole in your landscape. In the landscape toolbar, in sculpt mode, select the visibility tool. Find the location on your landscape where you want to create a hole. Adjust the brush size to the size you want to use. Left click to create the hole and shift plus left click to erase a hole that was created. Every other layer works the same when used for painting. You can now fit static mesh actors in the hole in the landscape to create a cave.
Hope from this video, you will start to move into building in more advanced mechanics, in an easy to follow step by step approach, which will allow you to play around and build your own content, to eventually build your own game. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.